three, two, one. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. I want to do a video uh, in one take where, uh, where, I, where I don't have a script and I want to tell you about a decision that I've made. It's November 7th, 2015. And that is that I'm not going to maintain a Facebook page for Mostly 22 LR. Now I have a longer version of why I'm going to do that uh, and I'm going to put that at the end of this video, the whole back side of this video, and I'm going to shape it as, um, as a uh, plea to Twangenbang to see his Facebook page in a different light. But the short answer is, is that uh, Facebook wants to charge me money to create content for them, whereas YouTube would pay me money for the content that I create for them. So I'm not going to get into that. There's a longer answer to that. But other than that, no Facebook page. Now, when you see the end credits roll on my videos from now on, there's going to be an international no symbol on the Facebook uh, the, the Facebook F. And it'll be right next to the Twitter bird. So, But there'll be an international no that tells you that I'm not going to maintain that page. So thanks a lot for listening. If you like this video, hey, I hope you'll click like and uh, and hit the subscribe button. If you didn't like this video, if you're you know like a huge fan of Facebook and you think I suck, you don't have one of these. But go ahead and click it here on YouTube, and, and I'll I'll get your message. I'm Rob Rosenberger for mostly 22 LR, and remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such. Okay, now everybody go away because it's just me and Twang and Bang now. Twang. Can I call you Twang? Twang! Hey, uh, long time no see. How you been? Uh, how are the kids? Mine too. <clears throat> um, I want to want to talk to you about your page. I am a fan of yours on Facebook. I have subscribed to your page. I have clicked all of the options that I need to click as a, as a user to make sure that I see everything that you post in my news feed. But I went out to your page again tonight and I know that there's at least one video that I haven't seen in my newsfeed, and there's probably some pictures that I haven't seen in my newsfeed, and there's probably some posts from you that I haven't seen in my newsfeed. And the reason I haven't seen them in my newsfeed, despite me wanting to see your videos and, and everything that you post, I haven't seen them because I don't participate enough on your page. Uh, and this is why you lose people. You know why people come in and they and they make a strong show for you and then they just kind of they you lose them and the reason is is because I don't share your posts I don't share your videos with my with my family and friends I don't share pictures of the general you know I don't I don't click on you know I I don't click like enough I don't read your comments and and reply to the commenters I don't create new posts on your page I'm not doing enough for your content especially by sharing it and so. I've fallen off of your radar. Now you can pay Facebook to bring me back into your fold, but eventually I'm going to fall back out of your fold again because you have to keep paying Facebook to keep the people that you that you uh, that you get. And so as your fan base grows and you keep telling people on your on your YouTube channel, hey, like my Facebook page and watch it all the time, and they come in and they and they like you, they're shrinking down, and you have to keep pushing back out with more and more, and you're losing people that you should not be losing. And Facebook does this on purpose. Now I'm going to put a link up here to Veritasium, which was the first video series that I watched, uh, it was like nearly a year ago, uh, on, the, um, on the differences between Facebook and YouTube for, in terms of content creators. You're a content creator. You create videos for YouTube, you've got a B-roll for Facebook, you've got pictures for Facebook, you're creating content for them and they're going to charge you to keep your fan base. Now, uh, for mostly 22LR, I would love to have a cult of personality zone where my fans and my groupies could come in and we could talk what few there are for me. And uh, we would have a place where, hey, it's Rob, he's here, and, and you know, life would be great. But that's not Facebook. Um, I want something like that. You want something like that. Personalities would love to have something like that. But really... Who can you say that's ever become famous from Facebook? There's a lot of famous people from YouTube, right? You know, we've got uh, Jenna Marbles, we've got PewDiePie, we got um, uh, we got the ERB guys. You know, Nice Peter, they're on tour. Watsky is on tour because he got famous on on YouTube. You've got um, um, what's his face? Um, 
uh, Justin Bieber, you've got Michelle Phan. Uh, we can go down the list of the Fine Brothers. There's all sorts of people who've become famous because of YouTube. But you can't say that about Facebook. Now, uh, chances are, you know, if you are watching anything, you'll see stuff pop up in your, in your feed from, uh, from George Takei from Star Trek. He's got a huge fan following on Facebook. But the reason that he pops up on so many uh, people is because he's forwarding all of the viral stuff that's on Facebook. By, f by sharing that viral stuff, he is holding on to his fan base. But that's really all he does, is he does a lot of sharing. He does have some photos of his husband and, and, you know, and the trips that they take and, and the awards that he gets, but the majority of it is those viral, those viral shares. And then he puts in a little uh, cute little pun, which he's really good at apparently, and and that's it. And so, but he's not famous because of Facebook. He's a famous guy who you know has a a, a really good shtick, if you will, uh, where he's you know he's the gay Japanese guy from Star Trek, and that shtick makes him that super famous guy. You know, granted, I'll watch. In, I, I'm going to digress here. In the Star Trek, you know, in the Star Trek scene where he's flying around and you know, turn her into the wave. I was like, that right there is why he needs his own television series. And I would have been addicted to the whole television show if George Takei had gotten to captain a Star Trek. <clears throat> anyway, but he's not famous because of Facebook. People don't get famous because of Facebook. If you type into Google, famous people top 10 famous people from, from YouTube, you get PewDiePie and Jenna Marbles and, and um, um, Stampy and, and those other guys. But when you type top 10 famous people from, from Facebook, you get how to become more famous on Facebook, how to, you know, how to keep your fans and, and you know, you got to do original content. And they teach you what to do on Facebook, but they don't tell you who the top 10 people are. Nobody's getting paid from Facebook. So <clears throat> you're creating content, even if it's B-roll, and you're you're putting pictures up, and you're you know you're you're giving your life, and you're you're creating a cult of personality. But you have to pay for that. You're you're paying time. You're paying resources. You you know you have limited bandwidth, and you're uploading it to Facebook. You you know you have uh, uh, you might have to be paying money. You've got energy in this, and for what? And the answer is is I don't know. Uh, for me, the answer was after a year and a half or so nearly a year just trying to figure out how to make it work, I finally realized tonight, that's it. And I went back to the Veritasium videos, the, the first videos that I went looking at, and I watched them all over again, just simply, so that I could make sure, do I have my head on straight? And I think I've got my head on straight. Now I hope that you... <clears throat> I hope that, that this hasn't opened your eyes. I hope that you've seen this already, and you can say, well, you know, Rob is right. You know, I really should rethink this. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not like, oh my god, you know, ripping your hair off. Rob is absolutely right. I can't believe I've wasted all this time. Dozens and dozens of videos on B-roll and I've got nothing to show for it. That you're taking money away from, from YouTube and from my Patreon and I'm pouring it into Facebook. For what? And the answer is, I hope that's not it. So, anyway, um, I live uh, south of you. I live in South Carolina. You can tell I have a Chicago accent, uh, Air Force guy. Uh, I was going to take the military discount and, and uh, subscribe to 37 PSR, but uh, I couldn't figure out how to get my RV up there often enough to be able to, to accept that, that um, fee <laughs> to make that work for me. So uh, I don't want you to invite me up to your place. I really don't. And the reason why is because I'm just a fan of yours. That's really all. I got like 1,200 subscribers. You got bazillions of subscribers. And... Um, when the time comes, if I become you know big enough that we can actually get together and do a video or something like that, that's great. But until then, treat me as a fan who just is simply trying to open up your eyes about Facebook. And I hope, I really hope that I'm not the one that opened your eyes to this Facebook thing. Uh, and I hope that you've actually figured out what you wanted to get from Facebook. So, I'm Rob Rosenberger. Thanks, man.